Hey guys, what's up? Happy 2022. Can you believe that we are already here and there's so much going on? I want to give you some quick updated information about what's going on around the industry and some tips to making an amazing 2022. Uh, make sure you watch till the end. I got some information for you that you don't want to miss about some upcoming classes and learning opportunities. All right, so let's hop in guys. It's 2022 and we are already 30 days in to our year. That's right. We're already one twelfth of the way through. Uh, per the calendar year, you are now probably writing contracts. Uh, maybe you squeeze some in for January, but starting to look for February. If you're following along with the seasonality matrix, that means that January typically consists of about five to six percent of your overall business. So you can kind of measure that against your overall goals and measure where you're at. I know a lot of us had a phenomenal holiday. I hope that you did as well. And that means that we also probably took some time to relax and spend time with family and friends. And that's absolutely the thing we want to be doing during that time. Uh, keep in mind that that typically leads to a little bit of a slower February. So February typically accounts for 5% of your overall business. And then you'll see a huge jump usually around 10% in March based off the activities that we are currently doing and getting ready to go over the next few weeks. So put your head down, let's get focused and let's crush 2022. You have got the wind at your back. Uh, it's going to be an amazing market, an amazing ride this year from what, uh, from what we read or what we hear around the industry. So I hope that you get your unfair share of it. As we're going through and starting off 2022, I was listening to a speaker the other day. I was talking about some things that you can do in order to get your head right and your mind right uh, and just prepare to make the most of your growth, right? We know that 1% better every day or a constant focus on improvement helps us uh, both mentally and physically as we grow and develop. So here are some cool tips that we picked up, right? Number one, get up 30 minutes early. Get up 30 minutes earlier every day that you, that you, than you normally do and build that habit into your world. When you get up 30 minutes early, do it and don't get on a device. I know that I'm guilty of that, right? One of my big struggles is to not immediately pick up that phone and see what's going on in the world and where I'm needed. And so get up 30 minutes early, do it without a device. Spend 10 minutes in meditation, 20 minutes reading a book, take that extra 30 minutes and really uh, you know, get your head right, get guided meditation, uh, pick up your Bible, do some, uh, some passage research or whatever it is that moves and motivates you. And then spend 20 minutes uh, reading either a, a book or you know a self-help book or whatever you want to want to put your put your energy into. Uh, we also encourage or they encourage 20 minutes of journaling beyond that. It usually gives you the space to kind of get your thoughts out and give you clarity for the day. And then I like to wrap it up with about 10 minutes of a focused task, right? So either making a bed or sweeping the floor, something that I can control and something that gives me uh, immediate feedback. If you read the book, uh, make your bed, you kind of get that concept, right? A, a small win. Uh, in the morning of something that you can control and accomplish uh, to give you a uh, perspective for the day. Also, exercising and eating right. We hear that a lot. You know, if you're like me, we went through the holidays and had lots of cookies and, and drinks and, and just enjoyed the festivities. Uh, and so want to get our mind back to, to the right perspective and really get focused on what we want to accomplish in 2022 and how we can do that in all aspects of our life, right? So we always as you business plan, uh, you know, Gary will teach us or the industry will teach us to, to really focus on what we want to do as a business, but also say focus on what you want to do uh, for your physical health, your spiritual, your family, uh, emotionally, for your community and the things that you want to have an impact on this year. All right, guys, just switching gears here. I want to look for your perspective uh, on a couple of things, right? And so we've always ran uh, or sought to lead from, a, from the mindset Keller Williams has taught us to, to create a culture of productivity. Right? That means a lot of our conversations around classes and development, uh, how we can impact your business, how we can help you grow or think as a business leader. Um, and, 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 and I love that perspective because that's kind of my, my sweet spot. And yet I also want to make sure that we stay true to our uh, agent-owned and agent-led businesses, right? So I, I think, um, you know, I'm going to go to my pastor for spiritual guidance. Uh, I may go to my fitness coach for physical guidance. I'm going to, I'm going to go to my family and my friends for, uh, for camaraderie and, and relationships, right? And I always think about going to the brokerage or, want, you know, assume that you go to the brokerage for business uh, growth and development. And, uh, and I hope that that's true, right? I hope that we provide the opportunities for you in order to do it. That doesn't mean that you have to plug into the opportunities, but you also want to, you know, provide some feedback. Let us know where can we show up better? Where can we provide more opportunities to create that culture of productivity? And then is that the right culture that you want? Guys, this is uh, something that we're all collectively a part of. That means that uh, the, the cool thing about being at Keller Williams is there is no uh, central person really driving the ship or, or running the show. Uh, we, we appreciate the leadership team and Roger and all that they do, 
but we are an agent owner and an agent led brokerage, which means that we all get the opportunity. And with that comes some responsibility to, to provide some feedback or influence and to participate uh, in things that we feel are important to us. We wanna make sure that this gives value and meaning to you. Uh, that's the joy of being a part of this organization, this culture. And so please uh, take time. If you don't mind, send me an email, david at thehuffakergroup.com. Uh, it will be confidential between you and me and just provide some feedback on where you'd like to see growth, where you'd like to see opportunity, where you would like to show up and participate at a higher level. We know that the mastery starts with teaching, right? If you want to master something, teach it. And so there's opportunities for all of us to get better at what we do through providing uh, guidance and influence and the things that we have strengths in. And so I appreciate you guys doing that. Uh, but please share with us what we can do in order to enrich your lives in 2022 as a brokerage. All right, guys, finally, some, some great classes coming up. Just want to get you plugged into them. Please take, the, take out a calendar or write these down. We've got Ignite going on this month. Uh, on January 7th, please come and attend my database class. It's one of the best classes I think that we can do in order to love on our people and be a part of our community. Uh, on uh, January 18th, we've got contracts with Donna. And then starting on January 20th, we've got an all new opportunity uh, to that I, I'm going to put on with anyone in the brokerage that would like to, to attend, any, anyone from our brokerages, uh, partner brokerages, it doesn't have to be KW, if it, it doesn't really matter. Invite anybody you want to invite uh, from around the area or around the country and come and spend an hour with me, right? I want to have a conversation of just uh, of what's going on in your business, either how can we help you business or how can we help you become a better business leader? in order to grow and develop your business. And I'm gonna share some stories of, of, of conversations I've heard from around the industry and around the country. And, and really all of us having a conversation together, I know I always leave with some great information and great takeaways from those conversations, uh, but this is not just for, we, we've always done it for the 10 million and up producers. And we wanna open that up to everyone within the, uh, within the brokerages, the organization, or, or even people outside of our organization so that we can have a conversation and again, get stronger together. Guys, I hope you're ready to crush 2022. I am here for you. If you need anything at all, please use me as a resource. If I don't know, I'll connect you with someone. And that can usually sometimes be um, the, the best way I can support you is to connect you with others around the country that may be going through similar things that you are. Um, so reach out to me, david at thehuffakergroup.com or 615-480-9617. Also, don't hesitate to lean on your leadership teams within your market centers and your ALCs in order for support and growth development. Talk to you soon, guys.